There's a huge quantity of grass seeds sold every year in the UK, about 8,000 tonnes, and somewhere near a quarter of this is used for overseeding. This is seed that's sown in to improve worn or damaged lays, as well as patching up recently sown lays that haven't taken too well. Farmers really like overseeding because it's got a great advantage over ploughing and reseeding. It's cheap, it's quick and it's low risk, with the existing grass being retained and improved without the loss of forage or without time out of production. But it's really important to get good results to follow certain guidelines. Seed can be sown into an open sward where the soil temperature is around 7 degrees centigrade and this is usually achieved in March or April across the whole of the UK. Sowing can take place any time until September, provided there's soil moisture available, but it's pointless sowing seed into dry soils when it'll almost certainly fail. Grasses and clovers can be broadcast or shallow drilled into recently grazed or cut lays or pasture. If seed's going to be broadcast, it's really important to get some tilth, and this can be done either with a chain harrow or, more recently, with comb harrows. Comb harrows are more vigorous and they open up the sward better than a chain harrow and this can give very good results indeed. Once the seed's sown, very important to roll it, or the seed can be trod in with sheep. If the seed is going to be drilled, then a specialist seed drill should be used. The Moore's Uni Drill or the Aitchison Grass Seed Drill can be used. Big heavy cereal seed drills are really not any good for this job. If you're sowing low rates of clover, it's possible to use one of the electrically driven spinners like the Stocks machine, and these are really good for applying small quantities and will spread the seeds somewhere around 10 or 12 metres. Now not all grasses and clovers are good for overseeding. Generally speaking, it's the aggressive rye grasses that are used, and of these, the tetraploid varieties are the most valuable. These are cheap seeds and give vigorous, reliable results. Italians and hybrids should be used for cutting lays and perennial rye grasses can be used for grazing lays. It's also possible to introduce white clover. White clover can either be sown with the grass seed or if clover is required in a sward that hasn't got any, it can be sown on its own. Generally the sowing rates are 2 kilos an acre for white clover and 10 kilos an acre for grass seed. Once seed is sown, it's very important to manage it carefully so that the new seedlings get established and the old grass doesn't just swamp out the new. So the sward can be grazed with cattle or sheep, provided sheep are moved on quite quickly, or it can be cut. But cut it young, don't leave it for hay, otherwise the hay is very likely to swamp out the new seedlings. Once it's fully established, it can be managed as usual. But one thing to be very careful of is the application of nitrogen. Whatever form this takes, whether it's farmyard manure or fertiliser, nitrogen application should be delayed until after the new seedlings are established. So, overseeding is a simple, effective and low cost way to improve worn lays or old pasture without the need to plough and reseed in the traditional way. Providing we follow the rules in terms of when to sow it into warming soils and with the right equipment, we should get really good results. And this is definitely a low cost method of improving grassland.